Okay, so I'm going to show people how to uh, set up Arc Browser with the videos in the background uh, instead of just images. Um, so first you're going to want to go to mumovies.com. You want to go to the download section. Once that loads up, then right here, you're going to want to find your media that you want. Apparently, we're going with arcade media that I haven't actually clicked on, but I'm going to go back. <laughs> I put my finger near my phone, and it just decided uh, that's what I wanted. Um, so I'm going to try to go for handheld media. Right, so let's look for more. Hit more, and we're gonna find the platform that we're looking for here. Um, so I'm gonna find a platform. 3DS. Oh, you know what? 3DS does isn't supported so yet. So, I'm going to actually not do that. We'll do Game Boy. What you're going to look for is platform videos. Okay? So, you tap on platform videos, and there should be a list of videos that you can look through to see um, which one you'd like. So, in this case, we have this Game Boy platform video here. This is 16 by 9. You would check that, you know, whether it be 16 by 9 or 4 by 3, whichever you want. So I'm tapping on this, and you should be able to preview it. There should be a video. Preview. So that's the video I'm going to want. So now we're going to download the file. And it will give me the terms and services and all that. And you hit download. And that's going to take a while. So it's going to take 116 seconds to do this. I'm not going to actually download this because I already have this taken care of. But what I am going to do is I'm going to pull up a file browser. Um, and in my file browser, I've already downloaded the video. So, I'm going to find a, a different video. This is uh, main Hello uh, Gmail notification. Goodbye. Um, so, what you're going to want to do is take this video that you've downloaded and you're going to rename it to Background. It has to be an MP4. You may be able to change the extension to something else and have it work if it's not an MP4, but there's you should get an mp4 from that site so that would be fine so i'm changing that to background and this is a main video technically so i would have my you know in, in this case we're talking we were originally talking about game boy so we're going to go game boy inside our game boy folder we're going to make a media folder Inside that folder, we should transfer our video, background.mp4, into the media folder. And then once we open up, I'm going to actually connect my controller. Once we open up uh, our browser, I'm going to lower the volume here. <laughs> Once we open up Arc Browser, uh, we should be able to navigate to the Game Boy section, and we have a Game Boy video playing in the background. And that's it. Uh, there's also, I want to show you the, you'll notice in now, as opposed to the video I posted last time, there used to be this white um, background here where the Game Boy logo was, but that's no longer there. Uh, so in order to do that, we're going to go and create 
a, uh, uh, hold on one second. We're going to create a, uh, a text file in the ROM folder. So what you want to do is create, hit, where is it? <laughs> New text file, or however it's done in your file browser or whatever. You create a new text file, and you're calling that theme.text. Um, and then you open up your theme.txt file. Inside that file, you have the, uh, let me hit edit, move this out of the way. Inside that, you have this here, where it says arcade.systemList dot selected system background color and this is the code you're gonna to want to use I'll put these codes in the description so that you can just copy and paste them and there's arcade system list list background color that's for all the systems what you know, it's opposed to just the selected system and that will actually remove that white background for all the systems um, and you'll need both of those to remove it from everything. And there's also, if you wanted to hide the, uh, the actual tools button, because you're using controller possibly with an X, with, you know, if you hit X on the controller, it brings up the tools menu. But at the same time, you also see the tool menu in the, uh, list of systems. If you wanted to remove that, there's the line right here, which says arcade.systemList.hideTools button, and you hit true. That will hide the tools menu. So this way, if you don't want to have that redundancy with the tools menu as well as having the X bring it up on the controller or whatever, you can remove the tools menu. Um, so I will leave these uh, these commands in there so that you can just copy and paste that into your theme.txt folder or a file, sorry. And that's that. So, like I said, just put that in your ROMs folder here and that should remove those background, uh, you know, colors and uh, also possibly the tools button if you don't want that. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, sorry, it's me a couple seconds in the future here, and I forgot to tell you how to um, enable the theme. So you're gonna wanna hit X on your controller or navigate to your tools uh, menu in Arc Browser, and then pull up settings. Uh, after you pull up settings, you're going to want to go all the way to, um, <laughs> global UI settings. Then you're going to want to select your theme directory because this will, none of this will work if you don't do this. So you're going to select your ROMs the uh, area where you have your ROMs located. So in my case, I have this on my storage emulated zero uh, ROMs. If you have an SD card, you're gonna wanna do something like browse up a level, up a level, and up a level, and you may have something like this where you see 0F58-6DA or something, and you're gonna wanna select your uh, the, wherever your ROMs are located, and then all this shall work. Um, and other than that, um, also if you would like to see some more about uh, how to theme your Arc Browser experience, I have another video where I showed some other stuff that I didn't show in this video, and I will link to that video in the description. Thank you for watching.